2018. Here's just some of those claims collected here in the state of Michigan that could have been addressed had we took action to clarify Elliot Larson. People who have essentially been kicked out of Michigan's economy as workers and consumers. A lesbian employee at a pizza place was denied a supervisory promotion because she was told she looked and acted too masculine. A gym trainer alleged termination from a gym due to his sexual orientation. An employee at a pharmacy was reprimanded by his supervisor for mentioning that he was gay in the workplace. A lesbian couple was told by a hotel that they could not have their civil commitment ceremony there. A transgender person was given parole conditions that stated she cannot present as female during the parole period. A postal worker alleged termination from her job due to her sexual orientation. An employee at a utility company alleged she was suspended from work because she filed complaints against her three managers regarding negative comments about her sexual orientation. A school district refused to allow a gay-straight alliance to have access to the hallway bulletin board while other non-curricular clubs were permitted to keep their displays up. A gay man was kicked out of a Coney Island because the owner didn't want faggots in his restaurant. An auto line worker complained of a hostile work environment after negative comments were made regarding her sexual orientation by other employees. A college professor was denied tenure, which he believed was because of his sexual orientation. Students at a gay-straight alliance were not permitted to advertise in the school newspaper. A transgender employee at a grocery store was harassed by other employees and management failed to take action. A special education teacher was harassed in her job because of her sexual orientation. A middle school student was harassed and regarded as gay, and the school failed to take action. A transgender school district employee was having problems with his supervisor because of his gender identity.